Okay, so the files are backed up. I shut down the computer. I unplug the cable. This is from the this is the cable that came with the Samsung T7 Shield USB 3.2, really fast data cable. If you're going to make a lot of videos and pictures, then I really suggest you don't use the provided cable they gave you with your iPhone. Especially this is USB-C for iPhone 15 and 16. This is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So it has the USB 3. It's, it has the USB 2 actually. It's not the full speed. So I don't know why they didn't give a, a proper USB cable. But mostly this is for charging. And if you have a good USB cable, you might not use the iCloud subscription. So I guess that's the reason. I don't know. So now that i moved the pictures away from the phone i will go again into photos i move the pictures and videos away from the phone i go into photos and there are no photos here so i could take a picture allow it okay and could i could take a picture like this take a picture and it's there and now I have them in photos these are the pictures so I actually don't need to save these pictures in the iCloud at all and I will go there and sync this iPhone iCloud photos remove from iPhone one photo will be removed from this iPhone okay no problem like this there's no surprises the photos and videos are already copied on the computer and before you remove them from the iCloud make sure you also back them up to a second drive just to make sure that they are still there or another cloud subscription whatever you prefer but now they are off here and the storage is not much storage that's included with the with the free plan five giga and at this point at this point i saved all the pictures but if you wanted to do a full backup, I suggest that you watch. I have another video that I will upload where this is going to be a separate video where you back up all the settings of your phone, not just to the iCloud, but you back them up to the local drive, to your local computer or Mac with a password on uh, the backup file. So it will save saved passwords, everything that you have on your iPhone. I really suggest you watch that video also. I will link it in the description before we begin. So to make sure that you know what you're doing. And if you are ready, you backed up everything in the cloud or on the local storage. You can either do it on the iCloud or on the local computer, not both. But I guess you could do it on the local computer and then the iCloud or iCloud and then switch to the local computer and you still have both. But I'm not sure there's always, there's always a catch with these kind of things. So the phone now it has enough battery to be used and it's ready to reset. I want to show you how to reset the phone to the factory settings and also to remove your iCloud account from it because actually I have my iCloud account here and if you want to give away the phone or to sell it or to return it you should remove the iCloud from the phone so it's not locked and these are the details here i have my i could sign out simply from here and actually this is a way to switch to another icloud account if you wanted to but to be really sure i will do a reset so let's let's try the sign out actually so sign out i will enter the password now i enter the password to sign out and press done Okay, wrong password. Okay, I'll try again. So press done. And this is my account on the phone. Sign out. And when you do sign out, keep a copy of your data on this iPhone. Health, keychain, safari, wallet, tickets and passes. If you're going to return this phone to the seller or sell it to someone, or give it away you don't want to keep anything here you don't want to keep anything here you want to reset it so photos and videos that have been optimized to save full space will be removed from this phone the original full versions are still available on the iCloud 
So if you have them, you have your pictures on iCloud, hopefully you will not lose them, but I don't know. Any documents and data stored in iCloud Drive will be removed from this iPhone. Okay, so sign out. Are you sure? Sign out. Removing iCloud data. Okay, so now the Apple account is signed out. The phone is still usable. And before finishing now, I will go into the settings. So no Apple account is signed out and I go to general. Probably you don't have to do this step. I think I just like to do it just to be sure. I, I thought I would do it just to be sure, but probably the next step I'm doing now will do both to re sign out from your iCloud account and reset. So under general, you look for transfer or reset phone. Here you can transfer from an old phone or reset, or you can even erase all content and settings. So I press that one. And I have here, this will delete everything. It will delete apps, everything. If you wanted to switch your iCloud account, the previous step was enough. You switch the account, you sign in with another account, with your new account, and it's okay, you still have your apps. But this way is you, when you send it to someone you don't know, and uh, here apps and data, 34 giga will be, will be deleted. So you have to be careful with this. You already have the backup, so it doesn't matter. If you didn't watch the video, I suggest you go and watch the video now about how to backup to your local computer, full backup, so you can restore your iPhone to be exactly the same like it was before. On another device, on a newer device, or you can even use the transfer to the new iPhone function here. And I can choose continue. It says, are you sure you want to erase all media content and settings? This cannot be undone. Erase iPhone. And now when this is finished, the phone will say hello. It will not ask to plug into a computer. It will be like you took it out of the box with the factory settings, just as you had it from the box like that. And uh, this is what you want. You don't want to keep any photos, any files, and especially you don't want to keep the iCloud locked on your phone because that's going to be a problem for the buyer and if you forget to do that you could actually do it later you could the buyer your uh, or whoever you gave the phone away they could ask you to remove the phone from your account from your iCloud account and you can do that let me know if you want to see that also okay it's starting it's gonna take a while now okay now the phone is the same as when I took it out of the box yesterday actually this is when I opened this phone and it's saying hello in multiple languages. This is what you want. Actually, when you buy a used iPhone, you want to make sure that when you turn the phone on, it's greeting you with the hello. And that means it's ready to use. There is no, there is no iCloud lock. There is no requirement to plug in the phone somewhere. And if you want to check the IME number, you can actually do that. It says now it's going to say hello or it's different languages. You press the info button here and it will show you the serial number, IME, ICC ID, all the information you need. Now the phone is ready to set up just like new. That's it. I hope this helps you. You can set up the phone. You can transfer from Android, which I'm going to do. I will transfer the settings from Android. You can also transfer from an existing iPhone, from a backup of an iPhone. You can use the option to transfer on your old phone to your new phone. I'll use the move to iOS or iPhone app in Android and hopefully that's going to work as it should. And I'll make a, another video about that. See how that goes. Thanks for watching.